So glad to hear that, Miss Donna. Good afternoon, Miss Donna and others. Yes, Dorothy, hot, 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 hot. Hello, Michelle. Yes, I know you could be better, Jim, but you could be worse, too. So, <clears throat> thank goodness we're not worse. Howdy, Nancy. Hello, Juanita. Hello, Grace. You'd rather have warmer? I'll trade you. I'll trade you, Miss Linda. You send me the 60, I'll send you my 102. How about that? Carol. Carol. Really? 68 in Maine? They just like to tease us. 68. Hey, hey, Jackie. Howdy, Shaloin. Welcome in, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. We are going to make a another bicycle wreath. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to do the flower petals. So we're going to do yellow and white and make a pretty daisy. A pretty, pretty daisy. So we're going to have to burn lots and lots of mesh. We're going to need 48 of each color. 48. So we're going to be cutting mesh for a little while. Just so you ladies know. So today we're going to use our zip ties. Our Dollar Tree frame. We've got our glass cutting board from the Dollar Tree. Or from Hobby Lobby. Frames from Dollar Tree. Alright, Miss Jackie, hopefully all is well with you today and no more running to the ER. So we're using the soft poly mesh from Hobby Lobby. Miss Kathy. You can go in the corner too, Miss Kathy. It's okay. My corner can get really full today because it's not 70 to get. Look at that. 78 in Nebraska, 75 in Connecticut. No, oh, hi, you, you say sorry. At least you say sorry, Miss Dawn. Good afternoon, Carol. Everybody, let's get them sprinkles out so we can all have fun with this pretty, pretty flower today. We're going to try out our new tool today. It'll be the first time I've used it. Lorraine, you're only 55 today. Ah. <sighs> Must be nice. Must be nice. Hmm. Hmm. So all I can say is, hmm. just bragging about that weather. We're going to go ahead and set up our frame. And we're going to put four zip ties per spoke. Uh, right, Michelle? See, if you told me, Michelle, that you were looking for some, I could have put some in your box. I have a whole armful and my Dollar Tree is full of them. At least it was the last time I went there and looked. Karen. I'll trade you warmer weather. Go ahead. Send me that 68. I'll send you this 102. Look at them stars, Shaloin. Hello, Cindy from Lafayette, Louisiana. I know. I could have had you some in there, Miss Michelle. Uh, temperature, because I am not 102. Kimberly, 105. Ooh. Stacy, 51 in Monta. Where are these cooler temperatures coming from? Send those my way, people. Go ahead. Just send it on down. It's supposed to be summer, though. We would be... So, I'd like it a wee bit warmer. I would agree if it's supposed to be, but you know, 102, 105, that's just a little excessive. Hey, Miss Betty, how's it going? Hope they're not working you too hard. 100 degrees in Oklahoma. I know, what is this, Miss Dawn? They, we get mistreated. They get all the cooler weather up north, and they said, hmm, the South has to serve up with the uh, 100 degrees. Jersey's up to 82, but rain. I'd even take some rain, too. Hello, Miss Brenda. Forgot to say hi. Well, hello, Miss Judy. Welcome, welcome. Uh, they don't care. When we're there, but they don't stay outside. My doggies are inside doggies, so they just go out and go potty and come back in. They don't have to hang out there, thank goodness. Now, if they were outside dogs, it would be miserable for them. The 
but they get to come in where it's at least attempting to be cool. Hello, Miss Joyce. Because uh, it's not getting real cool. It's only getting to about 76 in the house right now. I can't get it any cooler. And even at nighttime, it's barely, barely getting down to like 72, 73. Lunch break. Yay! What you having good for lunch today, Miss Betty? 86 in Western New York. I'd even take 86. I would. I'm not that picky. Anything but 100. What's everybody got going on today? Anything good and fun and exciting? Anybody have a win from yesterday? Hello, Miss Jo. Uh, yes, Lorraine, definitely too hot. Then that makes our AC just run and run and run and run. So I am not looking forward to electric bills. So we are putting a four zip ties on each spoke. So we're going to go ahead and get that on before we get started. At least get that preloaded. And then we'll cut all of our mesh. A bag of Doritos and a peach monster. Well, that is just a healthy lunch there, Miss Betty. But it sounds good to me. Although, I don't do the monsters. I never have gotten any taste for those. They always taste like vitamins or something. It's the aftertaste. Now, my husband and my kids, they like the monsters. They really like those bangs. Yes, Miss Connie, I agree. Just some relief here or there would be nice. Hello, Miss Sharon. Welcome in. Dorothy's doing a beach read today. Awesome. Ew, Jackie, that's so fun. Nobody wants to be clean up. But when you're done, you can just come on over here. You can have lots to clean over here. That doesn't get done very much. Hello, Miss Carla. Get Big Daddy to turn the air off late tonight and wash the sides. Yeah, he did that not too long ago. And cleaned all of our stuff up, Miss Nancy. Luckily, he's in maintenance, so he knows to do that and get that done. But it's just so hot here, it's not helping. I don't think nothing's helping besides sitting on a bucket of ice. <coughs> Excuse me. 100 degree temps and hot flashes. Oh, Miss Kim, yeah, I bet you are. We just had strawberry meringue. Mmm, Miss Lorraine, that sounds yummy. I just want a little in between, Miss Joyce. I don't want the extreme winter. I don't want the extreme summer. Can I just have a happy medium? Hello, Antoinette. Welcome in. Donna's having pork chops smothered in cream of mushroom soup and green beans. Try it with cream of chicken. Darn, crap, cream of chicken. Mmm, it was so yummy. Uh, yeah. You can kick up tons of dust with that. Hello, Rosemary, watching from Washington State. We welcome you in. Thank you for hanging out with us. Hello, Deanna. How's it going? This hospital food is for the birds and if I eat another soap and so <laughs> Yeah, there's only so many subs you can have. And if I'm gonna eat subs, I'm going to Jersey Mike's. I don't care for Subway. Four on each spoke, Miss Deanna. So we have 48 zip ties all together. That would be perfect, Joyce. I'm thanking God that I'm retired and don't have to work in the heat. Absolutely, Miss Dawn. My poor hubby's out it every single day, every day. He just comes home, looks like a, a drenched breath and covered his poor shirts that are wet and they have little salt rings all over it from all his sweat. I'm great, Miss Rosie. How are you today? 
I am going to do a bow, I believe, Miss Lorraine. Hello, Miss Kendra. Woohoo! You're off of work. That's awesome. You bought some bicycle frames yesterday. Awesome. I'm addicted to these and the flower petals now. I really, really like this. Um, let's see. I'm going to have to move this camera. Why didn't y'all tell me you couldn't see? And that way, I can get you looking at some more. Thank you, Miss Linda, for the 50 stars. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for the stars. Uh, yeah, me too, Don. And he just sweats buckets. I mean, literally, buckets. Hello, Miss Candy. Where you been? I haven't seen you in a couple of days. Where you been hiding? Uh, you see that, Lorraine? Mm-hmm. That is my yummy, yummy treats from Miss Pam. She came over and picked up her subscriber kit and brought me those goodies when she picked it up. It has tons and tons of different flavors in there. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. Four on each spoke, Miss Donna. So it's a total of 48. Lots of doctor's appointments. Oh, Miss Candy, I'm sorry. Hello, Miss Mandy. Welcome in. So now we're going to use our wood burner and our glass cutting mat. Heck yeah, I was lucky, Miss Lorraine. It's got strawberries and cream, white chocolate, almond butter. Mm, it's got the good stuff. It's got the good stuff. Good stuff. Can't find your scissors. Oh, no. Yeah, he probably did, Dorothy. You know he likes to steal them. We are just using the chisel tip on our wood burner. Hello, Annie. Hello, Miss Nancy. We are going to do... Is that too close? <coughs> are we zoomed in too much? Let me know if that's too close. We're going to do a yellow and a white daisy. Hello, Michaela. We're going to do this on our bicycle frame. And we are going to cut this at every 10 inches. So these are 10 by 10 squares. Now, I put this on bright and early, so it should be plenty hot enough. You have carotid arteries, right? Oh, my goodness. Miss Candy, prayers for you. That does not sound good. We're gonna do a flower today, Miss Rosie. I have a doctor's quality to kind of say for me. Well, you definitely take care of them first, Miss Deanna. Yes, ma'am, I have two ceiling fans going, Miss Nancy. And you definitely want to make sure if you're doing any kind of wood burning that you're in a well-ventilated area. I'm in an 800 by 800 square foot room and I have two ceiling fans going. This is the soft poly mesh from Hobby Lobby, Lorraine. I like the poly burlap better, but I have a whole bunch of these rolls. So we're gonna use them. High risk for a heart and check or stroke. Dang, Candy. My prayers are with you. Hopefully they can get that figured out and get you on the right modifications. And make that settle down. Find out tomorrow's results. So fingers crossed are good results, Miss Deanna. If everybody anybody believes in the power of 
prayer and good thoughts. Please keep Miss Candy and Miss Deanna in your thoughts and prayers. They could use some for good health vibes. 10 by 10, Luann. So this is 10 inch mesh and we're cutting it at 10 inches. I'm ready to have surgery and be over it. I bet, Miss Candy. I'm sure you are done with all the tests and proking and prodding. Have they even talked about surgery yet? And what to do? Hello, Miss Lisa. Thank you, ladies, for sending out those good vibes and prayers for these two ladies. A little more in a few days. We just had those tests this morning. Prayers for some answers, Miss Candy. <clears throat> and that's one of the bad things too. It's just waiting for the results of the tests. Like they want to wait forever to tell you anything. You're adding a wood burning tool, which I do. I use the chisel tip, which is, for me, it was the original tip that came in the burner. I'm good, Miss Belinda, how are you today? Hello, Miss Beth. Welcome in. Seven stints. Oh my goodness, what'd that say? Michaela's husband has two had two heart attacks, seven stints, stubborn as a mule. Won't quit smoking, won't watch his diet. Oh. Right? I keep telling Big Daddy that he needs to be careful until I get one. Yes, ma'am, it's Donna, 48, uh, and we're going to do 48 of each color because we're going to combine the two colors into one petal. You got the bicycle frame from Dollar Tree. A pink and white. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. Yay. Yeah, hurry and wait, hurry and wait. Well, hello, Miss Deidre. Welcome back. I hope everything's good with you. And this is the chisel tip. And like I said, it was the one that came on the burner. It has a couple extra tips that came with it, but I have never changed them out. A couple of people that I've talked to that do the flower petals all the time, they use the same chisel tip. You're so welcome, Miss Donna. I can't wait to see the finished product. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I've got two baby wreaths I have to do, and they have certain color palettes, and I am finding a heck of a time finding ribbon to match. I am getting down to the wires. I'm just going to have to pick something that's going to be color coordinating and not exactly beautiful like I wanted, you know? Oh, hello, Missy. Welcome, welcome. Everybody tell Missy hello. Where are you watching from, Missy? The glass cutting mat came from Hobby Lobby and the scrapbooking section. Hobby Lobby, Miss Candy. One thing about monotones and new mess and low risk procedures. Absolutely. Hello, Jules. 
How are you today? All right, Miss Cindy Lee. I'm so glad to see you today. I'm glad you're getting a break and hopefully it's a good day for you. Now, if I'm Miss Commons, ladies, don't yell at me. Because I have to look away for a little bit to do this burning so I don't burn myself. So, please forgive me. All right, are y'all giving Miss Missy her great big Texas howdy? Met Matari Matat Matari Matari M E T A R I Matari Matari Louisiana. Well, welcome in, Missy. We love to have you here, and thanks for hanging out. Hopefully, you'll grab a drink and pull up a chair and have a seat. This one's going to take a few minutes to do today. Usually, these flower petals do. They're not quick. Not good, Miss Cindy. Oh man, Miss Janice. Oh, that's good, Antoinette. Had an EKG and ECG done now. I'm under two weeks. Oh my gosh, Miss Lisa. Prayers for you, Miss Lisa, that all that comes back. Good news. Y'all think it's all this heat related? Hello, Miss Nancy. We're gonna cut up this whole roll and then we'll see where we're at. We'll see how many more we need to cut up of the yellow. All right, Miss Donna. Good evening, Miss Sharon. Um, I need 48 petals of each, so it depends on however much it takes to make those. So I don't know if it will take all of the two rolls. I'm actually betting it doesn't take all of the two rolls, but I've got them out just in case. Thank you, Miss Angie, for the hundred stars. Hello, Miss Rita. And I agree, it is hot, hot, hot. Thank you, Rosie. You got the wood holder, yay. Awesome. Have you used it yet? Got a question. I was just looking up stuff. Has anyone heard of personally yours, Reese Sons? Yes. Uh, Miss Melissa over at Crafty Max LLC absolutely loves personally yours. She has great product. We are making a yellow and white flower today. Yeah, she need the burner thing. Told me not to get booster and 55 never had a chance. Hmm, that's interesting that you say that, Miss Lisa. Quite interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We may have to get a third roll. Sure, I hope not. I don't have another roll of yellow. See if I 
I'm going to have to go over there. Okay, we're you getting your nails done. All right, Miss Nancy. Enjoy that pampering. You bought the white and black and used it once so far. Hello, Miss Tina. Welcome, welcome. Miss Nancy, we were cutting 10 inches. And then we are going to do a combo of the basic pedal and the Dean Michaels pedal together. got done mowing the yard. Ew, Brenda, that's not good. That sounds like work. <clears throat> You're going to need more than one cold beverage, I think. I hope you didn't overdo it. It depends on what you're going to do with the mesh, Nastina. Like, I'm going to make flower petals with this mesh so I definitely want to burn it and try and seal my edges the best as possible for the less grain. A lot of people do nothing but burn their mesh. And then they burn the poly burlap and the deco mesh both. you were racing to see me, Miss Brenda. That's why. Hello, Miss Sue Ann. Hello, Shelly. It's a hundred. Yes, Candy. It is. I agree. I am already over it, and we're not even in July yet. Already done with the heat. It's limiting my time outside in the uh, craft markets. Because I can only handle one a weekend. There's no way I could do two days in markets right now outside. I would just be absolutely, totally miserable. be uh, right up my help. Yay! Awesome! Well, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. You burn all your mesh. It's just, it takes, to me, it takes so much longer to do this. Because I have to be so much more meticulous when I do it to make sure that I try to cut in the boxes instead of on the line. Thank you, Belinda. You burned your arm, Sharon. No, I hope you're okay. That's not good. I did mine not too long ago. But I did mine on a frying pan. It is called a wood burning tool, Miss Nancy. Mm. 
Miss Joanne, the cutting mat came from Hobby Lobby. It was $14.99, and then I got it half price at $8.99, and it is in the scrapbooking section at Hobby Lobby. It was hanging up on the wall. You're doing a lot of this Friday at 6.30. Yes, ma'am, Miss Cindy. Send me a message. Please, please, please. Because at that time, I'm usually doing dinner. So, send me a message so I don't forget and I can tune in. Amazon, Walmart. I don't know if Walmart. I've never looked at it at Walmart. I would guess Amazon has it. Amazon has everything, but I personally picked this one up at Hobby Lobby. Like I said, it was half price at $8.99. Thank you, Miss Cindy. Not paying attention. See? That's what I'm afraid of. I'll burn myself. That's why it takes me a lot longer than using my rotary cutter. Even though I still cut myself with a rotary cutter, too. You have gotten... I'm sure if you do it every single day and do it with every one of them that you would get <clears throat> faster and faster. I don't. I think that's my downfall is I don't do that. That's true, too, Miss Nancy. I have to make y'all want to stay and hang out with us, right? Hello, Miss Lisa. Good afternoon. Welcome in. Oh, the glass and the cutting mat. Uh, cutting mat also came from Hobby Lobby. And it was 50% off also. So it was $36.99 originally. And I got it for $18 and change. So it was... Um, It'll be 50% off this week with the mesh. So if you're looking for one, it's a 24 by 36. But if you're looking for a combo burner board slash cutting mat, uh, Miss Tina over at Out in the Country, BullLankSimWar.com has come up with an easy burner board and that is in their shop at oitc.shop and you can use it as both a cutting board and a cutting mat for the rotary cutter and the burning tool and it's $24.95 over there so that's a good something to look into also yep an old glass shelf from a bridge works too microwave plate uh, cookie cookie sheet Anything that's oven safe that can handle high temps will work just as well to cut on. Good afternoon, Krista. Yes, I did, Jen. Pink and Harley Davidson orange. I found that out this morning. And I forgot to text that back to you. And I guess you can configure out who's is who's, right? Good afternoon, Maria. How's it going? I just hold it, hold it over. It doesn't really bother me. I just hold it over my arm. It would be nice if it was further down. This is soft poly mesh from Hobby Lobby. Yellow's done. Woohoo! We're halfway there. Are y'all bored yet? So who's got what going on? This is the label on the mesh. <laughs> You're welcome, Miss Jen. Yeah, if you can't figure that one out on who belongs to who, we may need to have a chat.
Good afternoon, Joni. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's only six yards from Hobby Lobby. That's the downfall. I definitely don't recommend this one. I definitely like these regular poly burlap better that you get from the reshop craft outlet, the online stores. It's more in money. This you can get half off, so if it's something you're just trying and don't want to spend a lot while you're practicing on your pedals, this is a good one to use. But the regular poly burlap is a lot better, and it's going to hold up a lot better. <clears throat> but you're looking at about 10 bucks a roll, too. But they last forever. It is very soft and rubbery soft. For durability purposes, a regular poly burlap is much more durable than this is. This crunches up very easily and crinkles and bends. So when transporting, you have to be very, very careful and make sure you keep it laying flat. Otherwise, the ends of your petals are going to curl up. We are making a yellow and white flower. These are regularly $9.99 at Hobby Lobby, and they are 50% off this week. So you'll get them for $5 if you want to grab some to work with. <gasps> Finishing up. Woohoo! You go, Miss Connie. No mad faces today, Miss Connie. Just kidding. I have to give you a hard time about that. I want to see finished pictures, Miss Connie. That was absolutely adorable. What you showed so far. Burning the mesh inside doesn't bother you. No ma'am, Miss Janet, I have two ceiling fans on. Plus I'm in a well ventilated room. It's an 800 by 800 square foot room. So there's lots of lots of room. And then we have the two fans going. So I'm definitely well ventilated. If you don't have a big area with well ventilation, you definitely want to make sure you get a respiratory type of mask. So that way you're not inhaling the fumes. Because they can be toxic. Uh, this one, Miss Robin, the one that I'm making now, this one that I'm making now will be 50 plus shipping. If you're talking about another, uh, my big deco mesh wreath like I did yesterday, I charge 75 on those plus shipping. And then the smaller 14 inch deco mesh wreaths, I charge 50 plus shipping. So it all depends on which one you're looking for. Hobby has some fall and Christmas stuff out. Oh, Angie, that's not nice. You're making a patriotic flower on the scary board. You go, Miss Rosanna. More power to you. I call those unique in the creek, the scary board. All them holes in there, that just freaks me out. Had to stop me to get ready to take my dad to the cardiologist. Well, good luck with that appointment, Miss Rosanna. Awesome, Maria did a lemon grapevine Please. wreath. Please. Yes, I know, I need to get one. Wow. You know, Miss Dorothy, she came out with that uh, burner board after I had just purchased all my supplies with this glass cutting mat. I told her that wasn't very nice because I just bought this so it was brand new and I, I used it like one time miss faith it depends on what you're going to do 
as your petals. If you're doing a folded petal, then you don't have to use a burner because you're hiding your raw edges. But if you're doing like the petals we're using today, then you definitely want to try and use a burner because you've got raw edges that are exposed. And um, you don't want the fraying on those raw edges. Has anyone seen the story post from Deco Exchange? Nope, I haven't seen it today. What was it, Miss Betty? You're welcome. Hello, Bonnie. You're welcome, Robin. Thank you, Miss Angie, for putting that burner board on there. That's their burner board. And you can use it, as I said, as a burner board and a cutting mat both. And she's trying to come up with a new invention of Robin it. I got the details. I know the secret. It's in my den, Maria. You just cut it at a ten and a half by ten and a half inches, Kimberly. And you definitely would want to word burn that because you're going to have three raw edges. Hello, Karen. <laughs> Her board is $24.95, Miss Dorothy. So if you're looking for a mat and a cutting board both, you're going to get a heck of a deal because you can use that board as dual purpose because you can use your rotary cutter and your burner on it so that will save you the you know the eight dollars on the glass mat and the twenty dollars on the cutting mat <clears throat> we just ignore him in the background miss angie that's what we do we just ignore that coming out of that room i've had lots of years of practice to ignore the sounds that come out of the bedrooms when they're playing their games. Do you pay as much for what you're cutting on as the burner board is costing now? Oh, this glass cutting board was $14.99. So it's more expensive than the glass board, but if you're needing it as like an actual cutting board too to use with your rotary tool, then you're getting a better deal because you only need the one and it will do both things as your mat and your cutting board. You're welcome, Faith. You guess because Connie Austin is playing games in his room. And you know his room is right behind this one. So he is screaming into his microphone. He likes to make sure everybody knows that he's around. We just don't hear Austin because he's on the other side of the house. There's no telling what he's playing. He doesn't mean do Minecraft a lot, but there's no telling. Right, Jen? I agree, he needs a chill pill. And it was actually, um, I think that was sounds of excitement. I think he must've got something right. It's a lot different when these angry sounds are coming out of there. You can definitely tell the difference. Hello, Diane. Yes, he is working on an extension. As I said, you never know with him what kind of sounds are coming out of there. And they all sound the same. Yes, ma'am, Miss Jackie, I sure have. Uh, they better not break their controllers, Jen. Those the controllers are not cheap, and they would be having to pay for a new one. It's not I, said the blind man. I am not paying for new controllers because they get mad and want to throw them. Those things are like 50 bucks a piece. The high temperature, Maria. This is, just has a dial on it. And I've got it set all the way up to the highest. So that was Matthew. I don't know if you heard that one a lot. Yes, ma'am, Miss Jackie, just as normal. Nothing you need to do any different. One to go, one to go.
Okay, it gets really bad when the two of them are home together. And they're both yelling and screaming at the games. Because they're usually always playing together. So one will get mad because the other's killing them. That happens a lot. Hello, Miss Pam. You're not late. We're still cutting mesh. You haven't missed a much. Just some chit chat, that's all. You had that link for the cutting board, but it's not working. Tap into your, not into the search bar, but into your actual um, website bar at the top of Google, Safari, whatnot, and type in OITC.shop. And that will bring you up to their shop. And then just type in EZ. And it should bring up that burner board for you. Hello, Kimberly. You're welcome, Maria. You're welcome, Jackie. It definitely takes a lot longer to do this than it does to cut with a rotary tool. Thank you, Miss Beth. Hello, Irma. Welcome in. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Gail from Arizona. Welcome, welcome. Nope, we're going to do a bow, Miss Pam. I have a flower center, but I don't think I want to use it. Because I think it's going to look too much, too big. I didn't know, quite know what I was ordering when I ordered it. And I think it's too big. So I think we'll just put a bow on it. Thank you, Sue Ann, for the 50 stars. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for the stars. All right, Miss Sue, you may have uh, need a couple of glasses today. This may take a while. Hello, Miss Tina. About time you get here. You're late. You're late. You're late. Hello, Denise. Welcome in. You're still working, oh Renee, I'm sorry, you're still working, but I'm glad you're listening. Thank you for hanging out. So if we've got anybody new out there, please hello and let us know where you're watching from so we can give you our great big Texas howdy. And we'd love to welcome you in and make you feel like you're part of everything. Everything, everything. You're welcome, Miss Pam. So where you been, Miss Tina? Hmm. Why are you late? You know this is a very important date, so why are you late? So, Miss Tina. How's the YouTube numbers coming along? What are you getting, Miss Stacy? And howdy, Stacy. What you getting? You're not late. You're fashionably early. Another one of them days? That's not good. Hello, Sally from Arkansas. A work trailer. Awesome, Stacy. That's a very cool. You will be so excited. You got a place for your stuff. We're going to do a yellow and white flower. And we're 
are doing it on the bicycle thing. Hello, Irma from Milwaukee. All right, we're almost done with this one. Then we can get to work to making these petals. All right, I've got a pile of mesh over here. This is one big old pile. I feel like Tina just throwing it on the floor. You want to do the one with the 21 mesh? Well, uh, what are you waiting for? We all waiting to see you do one with the 21 inch mesh. It's a sunflower wreath. Where can I get the bright yellow and green? One roll of yellow and partial green. You would need the poly burlap for that, for the sunflower. So you're better off getting it from either the wreathshop.com or craftoutlet.com. I don't know if Tina has any poly burlap in her shop. Hello, Miss Tina. Uh, he's in trouble today, Miss Betty. Thank you for the 50 stars, Miss Tina. Do y'all have any burlap in stock, Miss Tina? Ten inches, Miss Sally. He's about to come to you, Miss Betty. Just saying. I'm about done. Thank you, Miss Tina. I didn't see Mr. Allen. Is he being sneaky, sneaky on me? All right, let's set this aside. While we play with all these petals that we've made so far, try wreath addiction RN. She has great prices. There you go. All right, this one we're going to do as our back petal. So we're going to do yellow on the back with white on the top. So we're going to grab our rubber bands. And I just got these tiny, tiny rubber bands at. Um, the Dollar Tree over by where the hairbrushes are. Uh, he ate the remote to my fire stick and I had to buy a new fire stick today, Miss Betty. So we're just going to fold. Now one of the things about petals is you have to make sure that you're consistent with the way that you fold them. So my factory edge is on this side. So it would be at the top and my raw edges, but we're gonna turn it like a diamond and we're going to pull in this edge and then we're gonna pull in this edge, kinda looks like an envelope, and then we're gonna scrunch it. What, Miss Tina, what you got, what you got? God, it is not funny. So we're gonna overlap that side of our left to our right, so we're gonna overlap that one. And we're just going to rubber band this together. Uh, yes. And what's worse, Beth, this is not the first one. This is the second one he has done. I had an extra fire stick the first time. This time I had to buy a new fire stick today. So we got that. And now we're gonna take the white one. What, Miss Tina? What, what, what? Yes, Miss Sue, I do. I had to buy, wear those extenders all the time. I remember that. Absolutely, I remember that. Do I want to remember that? No.
it was cool to have colored rubber bands. And so now that's the basic pedal. So now we're going to do the Dean Michaels pedal on top of it. Hello, Miss Michelle. So we're just going to fold it. And again, we've got our factory edges on the top, so it's going to be on the right side of our design. We're going to fold it in half and make a triangle. And then we're just going to scrunch up the folded bottom. And we're going to fold our little triangles over. And we're going to make this cute little flower petal. Just like that. Since Mindy is winning for YouTube, I'm willing to do I haven't made 200 yet. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, yes. It doesn't matter. Even the cayenne pepper is not a deterrent anymore, Miss Betty. He still wants to get in the trash. Still. So we're going to take this pedal, and we're going to put this pedal over the top of this pedal. And we're going to make a dual pedal. Just like that. Okay? And then that's what we're going to put into our clip top. We're going to put it in about an inch down, a knuckle down, and pull that to nice and tight. And then we're going to do the next one. Yes, Carol, the newest one. The master of disaster. Tobacco sauce. I tried cayenne pepper and throwing it in my trash can. So, because he has this fetish for um, paper towels. Why? I don't know. But he will sneak the paper towels out of your hand if you are not watching. He'll just sneak it right out. Yes, this is a bicycle frame, Miss Bonnie. It doesn't matter if I'm ahead. It was just said that if you made it to 200 first, that you would do a bonus. Prizes. Not me. That was you. You can't try my tactic on me. Sprinkle Tabasco sauce and then cayenne pepper on top of the wet. I'll have to try that. Switch to chipotle pepper powder. Okay. Chipotle pepper. I'll have to get some of that. Cayenne I had. Chipotle pepper, no. Really, Beth? Uh, he will sneak that. If you're not watching, he's going to jump up and grab it. Every single time. So he is my master of disaster. We're going to put that right on top of there. And we're going to put this right into our zip tie. Your trash can won't fit under your sink. No, I have a big, huge trash can, Carol. Because, you know, I thought I had to be extra and buy the fancy trash can that matched the decor in my house. Yeah. And under my sink is all my cleaning supplies. Hubby took the trash can, banged it on the floor while looking at the dog who got in it. Kind of chest we use for her so the little pups will leave her alone. Oh no. Literally scared them. Oh! Oh my gosh, Michaela, that's funny. Uh, yes, it is nasty. I don't know why. Why they do it? 
Oh yes, he will get the paper towel holders and he will gladly shred the paper towels right off of it. No trouble whatsoever with that. And he's gone. If they left a Matthew left his bathroom door open and he has gone right in and I found the string of toilet paper running, you know, just like a toddler. Carrying the toilet paper all through the house. He did that. Thank you, Miss Belinda. I need to get a can with lid. That's what I need to do, Miss Beth. That's what I need to do. What is the name of the place? Um, the name of the place for what, Jacqueline? We named lots of different places. I'm not sure which one you're wanting. Four per spoke, Miss Dawn. He's in his crate right now, Miss Carol. So, yep, he gets crated for bed every night. And right now he's in his crate because he wouldn't leave me alone while I was, would try to do a live. So, he got a bone and got to put in his crate. So, yeah, he does get crated. You can do it, Miss Robin. He is the only one that I've ever had any issue with, Dandelion. The only one. You're welcome, Miss Dawn. Addiction something. You told the lady that was a good company to order from. Yes, Miss Bonnie, I got a bicycle wheel. Um, addiction. I don't know addiction. We've got out in the country, blanksomore.com, the wreath shop. Um, craft outlet, personally yours. I'm trying to think of everything that we talked about. It is going to be big, Miss Jackie. Go big or go home. You're so very welcome, Miss Jacqueline. So don't forget, if you have any questions, just holler them out. He wants his camera time, dear. He probably does. Dollar Tree, Miss Sally. It is the bicycle form from the Dollar Tree. The first one is the basic pedal, Miss Denise, and the second one is the Dean Michaels pedal. We have three extra. You don't like using them, Dandelion? Michelle, Dandelion says she has extras. Oh yes, there are 47 million names for petals. There's feather petal, there's 3D petals, there's uh, Star Trek petals, there's uh, lolly petals. There are all kinds of names for petals. Can you use a regular deco mesh? Absolutely, Miss Jennifer, you sure can. Well, that's awful nice of you, Miss Dandelin. These are six inch zip ties, Miss Jackie. You can use four inch if you like better. I just like the six inch because they seem to, I can grip them better. And then we're going to test out Mrs. Beth's zip tie gun she sent me. Woo -woo. We 
and we go to cut these babies off. I am so excited to use it. Hello, Diane. A no man mistakey. That's not happening. That's my go-go juice. And you don't have to use these little rubber bands if you don't want to. You can use a chip clip. Yes, I got a zip tie gun, Miss Dorothy. I got it in some happy mail. Look at this bad boy. Like it tightens and it cuts all at the same time. How about that? I'm feeling pretty nifty now. Hello, Sonia. Welcome in. Miss Beth was awesome, awesome, and sent me happy mail. I got my cordless glue gun over here and my zip tie gun from Miss Beth. Came in late. Was that 10 by 10? This is a uh, soft poly. Soft poly mesh is what it's called. And yes, it is 10 by 10. And yes, we cut 48 of each color. I hope so, Michelle. Hello, Miss Janice. Welcome in. We're doing a yellow and white flower. Yes, go go juice is Dr. Pepper for me, Miss Bonnie. That's my go-go juice. It gets me up and going every day. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more, and then we'll see how it works. The pink and white flower I did, uh, I did it with deco mesh. Oh, you just had to ask me, didn't you, Janine? Jeannie, it is a no easy. K-N-O-W-E-A-S-Y. No easy. Right, Miss Dorothy? That was awesome. You got that. Awesome, Lisa. We'll be figuring it out together. How about that? Woo, see, there you go. It is a Texas thing, Miss Vicky. Thank you, Dan for that link to the zip tie gun. T is your go go juice, Bonnie? Uh, no, Miss Bonnie, your go go juice is. Uh, is it sweetened tea? I hope it's sweet tea. Yep, we're going to make a bow today, Miss Dorothy. Please say it's at least sweet tea. Yes, we're doing a bow. You're welcome, Jeannie. I have to have my Dr. Pepper every single day. Every day. Oh, at least it's sweet tea. You can have sweet tea. I'm glad you're not one of those weirdo people that like unsweet tea. Ugh. That's all right, Miss Beth. Well, I appreciate you for all that you do.
No ABC juice. Dallin's Miss Best, the one that bought it for me. It's like, why am I saying that finished edge? Because I did it upside down. Oh, Belinda. I don't know if we can be friends. You like unsweetened tea? Ugh. Yes, you are, Miss Kim. You a weirdo. If you drink unsweet tea, you a widow. I know why you do, Miss Kim, but you're still a weirdo. That's all right, Miss Anlin. Thank you for the offer, though. You too, Sue. You like unsweet tea? Y'all weirdo. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want it? That's more sweet tea for you. If I drank it, it would be, but I don't even drink sweet tea. If it doesn't have the word doctor pepper on it. I don't drink it. I know I'm bad, right? I am very, very bad. So you should know how much of an effort it is for me to drink water at my market shows on the weekends when it's 100 degrees and I have to keep hydrating. But luckily, something I want. For their frames or for the zip tie? Yeah. Oh, okay, you're not talking to me. Hey, hey, I drink unsweetened tea. Ugh. Maddie. Ew. I had a boss that drank unsweet tea and I had to give her a hard time every single day. She'd come in with her unsweet tea. Oh, that's good, Belinda. I mean, that is very, very good. I'm very proud that you don't do that. I couldn't do that. I like my addiction to my Dr. Pepper. You two are... I can't believe all y'all. Crystal Light Lemonade Cake. There you go, Deanna. When I found her teaching class blah, blah, blah. It looks like it's there. I think there's more unsweet than there is sweet. Where's all my southern sweet tea drinkers? Come on. Show the sweet tea some love. Where are you at? Show me I'm not alone. like a good uh, Arnold Palmer with my sweet tea and lemonade together. Denise, there are four zip ties per spoke. So that makes 48 ties all together. And there's 12 spokes. You like the half and half, Connie? It is better for you on sweet. I agree, but it just don't taste good. Sweet tea, but can't have much because of migraines. But at least you like sweet tea, though. Sweet tea with cucumber syrup in there. What the heck is that, Janet? Cucumber syrup in a tea. Yes, Renee, yes. Sweet tea is not something that you make. It's a cold brew tea, Miss Lorraine. So you take your tea bags and make it 
and brew it in a big pitcher and pour lots of sugar into it. So it's not a hot drink, it's a cold tea. Cold drink. Yes, Michelle, sweet tea. I like it in the summertime. The half and half. I think that's really good. Yes, Karen likes sweet tea. They got Gigi again. Play. Again today? Oh, you have got to be kidding. They got her again? Wow. Makes it sweet like cucumbers. Hmm. Now, my husband likes the Gatorade that's cucumber flavored. So, just, yep, yeah, just normal tea bags, Lorraine. And then you just brew it. Like, I put it mine in a pot on the stove. I put about four regular tea bags in it or big gallon sized tea bags. And then I seep it in boiling hot water for about a minute. And then you add hot water to it and then you put your sugar in it. All right, Miss Renee, have a wonderful afternoon. I bet. I feel I bet she feels like she's being picked on. Oh. Poor Miss Gigi. That means they muted part of her, I did that wrong, her live, Miss Michaela, you know how y'all can hear Austin screaming in the background playing his video games? Facebook is saying that they heard music or something copyrighted in the background of her video, so they muted a certain amount of minutes off of her video that you're not ever going to be able to hear. Welcome back, Miss Tina. Where'd you go? Hmm? Because I know you're not getting baby loving, so where'd you go? Nine minutes of video today? Oh, wow. Uh, did he talk back? She doesn't normally have music playing. They did it to Miss Tina the other day, too. But she didn't have any music. That's the problem. So they're getting her for something that's not even playing in her video. Oh, yes. Uh, I guess if somebody complains, maybe. I don't know how they do that. So, because they got Miss Tina for it also. Well, hello, Miss Nita. Welcome, welcome. Well, I used the wood burner today, Miss Nita. Yeah. I don't need that one. I'm going to wait. All right, one more, and we can play with the zip tie gun. They muted part of Christina's live cell because she had roosters making noise. I heard that one, too, about the roosters in the background. <clears throat> All right, Miss Lorraine, have a wonderful evening, sweet dreams. Thanks for hanging out with us. It wouldn't surprise me, Sue, if they did. It really wouldn't. But yes, it is ridiculous, and especially if she doesn't have any music playing. I mean, I can see if she had like big time jams going on or something, but she doesn't have anything.
That's what I'm thinking, Miss Rita. Somebody's reporting in there for petty stuff. I don't know for sure, but. That's what they said. A rooster crow was trademarked. Why don't they get those people using profanity all the time? You know, Maddie, that would be the number one answer, right? Why do they let those people go on and on? And the rest of us, they pick on us. All right, let's see how this thing works. I'm thinking that we slide this in here, okay? And it tightens it. Well, that was too tight. That was too much. Let's try that again. So don't tighten too tight. So there is a such thing as pulling too tightly. So we'll put this back on. Welcome back, Miss Dorothy. So let's scrunch this one back up. Too many sounds in the background, Miss Vicky. All right, let's try this again. All right, so we're gonna pull it tight and cut it off. Whew, how about that? Right, oops. That was a little bit too tight. It's thundering. Ooh, Deanna, good luck with that. All right, so we put it in here. I'm going to make it tight and snip it off. Well, isn't that just nifty? I'm sure it did. But who reads directions? That's no fun. Pull it tight and snip it off. So I can just, just squeeze it a little bit more, just get a little tighter than what I had it. And then it cuts it off right at that. Wow. How nifty nifty is that? That's pretty cool. Are you jealous, Miss Tina? Looky there. I know a new toy. <laughs> Look at me go. Look at me go. Hey. Oh, I should say I don't have the rights to that music before I get in trouble too. This is pretty cool, Miss Robin. So you can tighten it up a little bit tighter than what you can get it by hand. And then just snip it off. Huh. It was a gift. She got it from Amazon, I believe. It is a no easy zip tie cutter. You have to put on your lies if it sounds like music that you don't own the copyrights to the music or they will block it. And just if it sounds like your roosters crow all day long. Oh, well, I got dogs. And quills. Are you? Yeah, you'd be in trouble. Nope, no rain, Miss Dorothy. It never rained. It teased us with some thunder and a little bit of lightning. But we never got actual rain. This is pretty nifty. Christmas in July. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So that's what our first row looks like. So now we're going to continue on for the next round, doing it the same exact way. That's a pretty nifty little gun there, Miss Beth. Thank you so much. That was very, very cool. I like that. Oh, Miss Beth, I was using your tool. I used it. 
It was cool. Well, there you go, Miss Jean. Is it Jean or Jeannie? Is it Jean or Jeannie? I'm going to say Jean. I'm guessing Jean. Well, I can definitely say it's a pretty nifty little tool. Jeannie, okay. I know it could have gone either way. It could be Jean. That's how my neighbor spells her name. Really? I wouldn't think it would be Jean spelled like that, but yeah, you never know the way things are spelled these days. Jeannie. Thank you, Rosie. You had a different brand and it was too hard to use. I'm sure like everything else, there are a ton of different brands. Look how pretty that is. Well, doing that yellow and white together. Oh, I bet. Usually if you say somebody's name wrong, many a times they get uh, real quick at correcting it. That's how I always know whether it's somebody I need to talk to on the phone or not. If I happen to answer, well, I have to answer my call, my phone, a lot just because it could be customer related and somebody wanting to make an order. So, of course, I have to answer unknown numbers. What if they ask to speak to Miss Tenor? Hello, Ruth. Then I know it's not somebody I want to talk to. Because if you can't even say my name right, then I don't need to be talking to you. So that's a good way to get rid of those unwanted phone calls. Just have a name that nobody says right. My husband uses this one when at work and said it was one of the best he'd ever used. Awesome. I like the gadget. That's pretty cool. What are you eating? What? What are you eating? Of course you are. He's eating a brownie bite. I'm also getting jello. That's my son. I mean, they're all my sons, but you can tell he takes after his mama. He comes out and he gets a brownie bite. We got those little bitty brownies that are like two bite brownies. Supposed to be two bite brownies, but you inhale them in one. I'll tell him I said thank you for the recommendation. I absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. That was pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh, 
this white mesh, I swear, it seems to fray the most. You're always going to have one piece here and there. It comes off. And it seems to be on the white. All right, Miss Connie, I can't wait to see. I bet it's beautiful. So what's everybody doing for dinner tonight? I need some dinner help. I need some help. Help, help, help. That sounds good for dinner. What are we having? Ah, don't be scared, Miss Ruth. Sprinkle this video on your page. And then you can use it as reference. And when you get started, you have all your supplies ready to go. And then you can start it and stop it and work along with it. And that way, you're not doing it by yourself. And you can follow along doing the petals at the same time. Leftover roast, yum. What kind of roast did you fix? My hubby likes the um, Mississippi pot roast. Well, Tina, get a clue. You had chicken curry. Hello, Ida. Pork roast. Like an old-fashioned pork roast. With potatoes and carrots. You're rolling burritos for your beet. Burritos? Are you sure it's not taquitos? Taquitos, not burritos. You season some shrimps to make curry shrimp and white rice. Ooh, that sounds good, Miss Tina. You know, I like an old-fashioned pot roast. Yes, the Instant Pot Mississippi Pot Roast. My husband, I made that for him once, and now he doesn't want to go back to the original pot roast. He only wants the Mississippi pot roast. Chicken and dumplings. Mm, homemade? Are you making them, Miss Beth? I didn't see your stars, Miss Belinda. And it doesn't show stars out by a side your name, so I don't think they went through. Tortilla pizza? Mmm, pizza sounds good. Thank you, LaDonna, for passing the stars. Passing the charms. Hello, Big Daddy. How's it going? Ooh, is it 3 o'clock? Is it break time? Cheesy jambalaya with sausage. Mmm. All right. Miss Beth's doing homemade chicken and dumplings. I'm going to eat at Miss Beth's house tonight. Thank you, Big Daddy, for the 500 stars. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for the stars. Look at you go. See, I don't see it, Melinda. You see besides Big Daddy's name, it shows that star on there? Usually it puts that star when you send them. Oh, thank you, Miss Ida. I appreciate that. I've got four per spoke, Ellen, and there are 12 spokes. 
So there is 48 zip ties all together. What's the Mississippi Pot Roast? It has pepperoncinis in it. You had the Aju gravy mix, uh, pepperoncinis, a stick of butter, um, ranch dressing, and beef broth. I think that's it. And you put that in the Instapot for about an hour. And yummy, yummy, yummy. There you are, Belinda. I see your 200 stars. Ooh, that started a star party. Oh, yes, absolutely, Miss Connie. Because I can only pull it so tight. And then it'll finish tightening it for me. So you brown your pot roast, brown it on all sides, and then you saute some onions to go along with it, and then you put it in your Instapot, and you add nine or ten pepperoncinis, a stick of salted butter, a package of au jus gravy mix, and a package of ranch dressing mix some beef broth, and then you put it in there for an hour. Thank you, Vicki, for the 50 stars. Thank you, Miss Deborah, for the stars. 200 stars, woo woo. Look, Big Daddy sent 200 more stars. Thank you for the stars. I put 48 zip ties on. Thank you, Miss Kim, for the stars. And there are four per spoke. So that makes 48 all together. Ooh, y'all almost got that star party done. Look at you. I didn't, I'm not making it today, Miss Joni. I'm just saying, uh, that's the way Big Daddy likes his roast from now on. He won't let me fix an original pot roast. Thank you, Rosie, for the 100 stars. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for the stars. Look at y'all go. Thank you, Beth, for the 50 stars. We have one. I've done chicken that way too, Maddie. Yep. They have just a little bit too spicy. I'm a weirdo about spice. Any little spice. Thank you, Michaela, for the 49 stars. You're awesome. Look what I almost did. I almost put that in there by itself. And you make some um, mashed potatoes to go with it. And you put that. See, I don't put the gravy on my mashed potatoes because that's where all the spice from those pepperoncinis go. It gives a little hint of it to the meat. But the gravy that you make, if you like spice, it adds it to the gravy, and then uh, Big Daddy and Austin, they'll both eat those peppers. Yes, they are awesome. Thank you, Rosie, for the 50 stars. You are much appreciated, Michaela. You don't have to send any at all. Absolutely love them. Thank you so much. All right, Miss Tina. Have a good nap. Hopefully it makes you feel better. Thank you, Belinda, for the 50 stars. Woo! Thank you, Cam, for the 50 stars. Thank you, Miss Lisa, for the 50 stars. Y'all are awesome. Y'all did another star party. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are awesome. So awesome. There are four on each spoke, Ida. So you can see right here, I've got two that are already done. And then there's two more on the spoke. So we'll have four petal combinations on each one. Thank you, Jen, for the 40 stars. You're welcome, Ida. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much. Whew. Like 
all of a sudden it got hot in here. Aw, thank you, Lisa. No, not me. I'm not. Y'all are awesome. Each and every one of you are totally, totally awesome. I love you all. Oh, best spent all her stars. Well, thank you for spending them on me. Tina's out of luck now. Oh, you're so welcome, Belinda. I enjoy it. And I love, love that y'all can learn. And y'all are enjoying it. Hello, Sussy. How are you doing today? Absolutely, Beth. You are all awesome. Even Big Daddy's awesome. But don't let him hear you. Let me see that. You should have went back to work by now. So, don't tell him I said he's awesome, too. We don't tell them that. I like this one better than the mermaid tail. You better not. You were supposed to go back to work. You're late. Don't be sneaking in. Your break time's over. I am doing wonderful, Sussy. Thank you for asking. Hmm. You didn't hear nothing. Nothing. You're going to remind me about that all night long. All night. Their mermaid tail is done the exact same way except for it's put on its side. So instead of laying down flat like that, you do it the exact same way. So you fold it in and you fold it in and you twist it up. And when you put it together, when you put it into your frame, you'll put it in this way. So it shows like a mermaid tail. So it's sideways instead of flat. So this one, the petal I do flat, a mermaid tail goes in sideways. And you'll do it this way. So it's just the positioning of the mesh. This is the soft poly mesh from Hobby Lobby, Miss Linda. And I definitely don't recommend it over the poly burlap. It seems to fray more. And it's a lot softer, so it doesn't hold its shape very well. You're welcome, Miss Pam. The 
if you find one that's strained like that, just kind of melt it right back into your puddle. You're welcome, Miss Linda. Film mesh and square so there's no cut edges. That would be nice. Kind of like they do uh, fat quarters for quilting. We're already cut up. And that way they can make it sealed edges all the way around. That would be nice. I would like that. It probably cost an arm and a leg, though. That would be my guess. Oh, thank you, Linda. I am about out of my blue sticks. Oh. My lips are getting dry. So don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, I would love, love, love for you to go do that. Miss Tina and I are in a competition that she didn't know we were in. She found out yesterday when I said we're in it. Mm -hmm. To see who can get to 200 subscribers first on YouTube. It does not cost anything to subscribe on YouTube. I would absolutely love for you to go subscribe to my channel. It is youtube.com slash Mindy's Charms. And this flower petal will be on there once we're done today. I will upload it on there. So you can go look at the replays there or you can look at the replays here on Facebook. You'll have two options. Our goal is 1,000 subscribers. So we can start doing lives over there. Thank you, Miss Beth. Really? You didn't have to do fair again today. We in a competition, Miss Beth. Competition. That means I'm supposed to win. Do you have more than one video on doing a cross or was it just, it was just a memorial one that I did, Miss Lisa. That's the only one I've done so far. Dawn, you're not supposed to do that. <gasps> Woohoo, 189. I've given my, my secrets here. She went to take a nap. She doesn't know. We're trying to sneak in the subscribers. You're welcome, Miss Lisa. Tina's YouTube channel was hard to find. You found me first. Yes. What you looking for Miss Tina's for, Miss Annie? Hmm. We're not supposed to be looking for Miss Tina's. Supposed to be looking for mine, just saying. Mm-hmm.
Yay, Sharon, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Woohoo! What else y'all having for dinner? I only seen a couple of things. Well, she posted the other day and <laughs> now we are just getting on there. So we're still learning how to put things on and how to upload and all those fun things. Welcome back, Miss Jackie. So we're just getting started. We've been on there a whole two weeks, I think. And if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even be on it. So make sure y'all give her some love it out in the country, too. I can say it is a fun. How about breakfast for dinner? If I could get my family to agree with that, that would work. Hello, Jessica. Looking for the wood burner glass you used. Where did you find it? Hobby Lobby, Danielle. It is in the uh, scrapbooking section. Hey, I got all those done and I didn't even know it. And it was $14.99 and then you can get it at half off. Right, here we go again. Tightens up. And snip it. Woohoo! I'm good, Miss Jessica. How are you doing? Tighten it up and snip it. I really like this. This is pretty nifty. Steak and potatoes on the grill. Yum, Miss Kelly. What's your temperature, Miss Kelly? Or do you have an inside grill? Big Daddy says it's too hot to grill outside. I need to get me one of those indoor grills. Chicken patty and fresh squash on my little garden. Aw, Miss Nancy. That sounds yummy. Oh, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Yes. That means it's Taco Tuesday. Done. Sold. Taco Tuesday. Dinner's figured out. Woohoo. You just harvested new potatoes and peas. Vegetable pie, yum. Yay, Rosie. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. All right, Michaela, how about, oh, got to get your nails done. Woo, woo. But I had the grandkids, three of the seven for five days. Yeah, yeah, you definitely need to take them out for a petty. That will be so much fun. So much fun for them. Yes, ma'am. Enjoy your nest. Yes, Taco Tuesday. Like you can tell, I ain't got my nail. Nails done. What's that? I haven't had a pedicure yet this summer. I am definitely in need of a pedicure. Maybe on Saturday I'll talk with Daddy into going. And yes, he likes pedicures too. Ah, this way. Janet at Hobby Lobby. It is in the scrapbooking section and you can get it at half off. Thank you, Rosie. I'm so glad. This is called a No Easy Zip Tie Cutter. It's pretty nifty. I'm in love with this thing. Absolutely in love with it. Because it can get it tighter than I could myself. Because I don't have a lot of hand shrink anymore. Not. Older years are catching up to me. 
so it can tighten it down a little bit more than what I can so they're not going to come undone and your mesh is not going to slip out. Love, love, love. Tighten the zip tie, then push down the cut. Okay. Am I doing this wrong? Tighten. Tighten. And then push down. The oh! Okay. I got it. I know. And I've missed Brenda. I love it, LaDonna. See, I was doing it wrong. But that's good. I like it. I like it. That's what we're looking like so far with the two sets of petals. And we've got two more to go. So how y'all like hanging out with me today? That's pretty nifty. I'll get it figured out. To a one fell swoop. There are four per rung, LaDonna. Where did I get mine? It was a Happy Mail gift from Miss Beth. But I think they are on Amazon. <laughs> That's okay, Jackie. We can figure this out. We got this. We got this. Yes, absolutely. It was very nice of her. She sent me that and my cordless glue gun right here. This little baby right there. I got that too. And I got in trouble for ordering something and I didn't order nothing. It came on Sunday and Big Daddy was like, what did you order? I said, I didn't order nothing. He says, well, there's a Amazon truck out front. And I was like, well, it's not me. I didn't order nothing. And then Austin has to be cute and say, oh, maybe that's my, my, uh, um, he was being funny. Let's just say it like that. Yay, Grace. And the one at Harbor Freight's like 20 bucks. I looked at that one at Harbor Freight. So he opened the door and he got the package. And Austin was like, oh, has that got my name on it? I said, has it got my name on it? I said, I don't know. I didn't order nothing. He says, well, it's got your name on it. And I said, well, I didn't do it. And then we opened it, and I said, I definitely didn't do it. And then Miss Beth said that she had sent me happy mail, so it had to be hers. You ordered yours from Harbor Freight? Got mine on Amazon cheaper. That's why I didn't buy one at Harbor Freight when I looked. This flower is available if anybody is interested. You can find it on my website after this live is done, which is mindycharms.shop, which again is a brand new website, so I'm just learning to use it too. So it has a few things on there, but there is a t-shirt on there. So if you want some Mindy's Charm swag, you can have a t-shirt. That looks like mine that I wear to my craft shows. And there's a coffee cup on there if you'd like to drink coffee with swag. 
There is one of those too. It was sweet, Miss Linda. I am, Miss Carol. I am rotten, rotten, rotten. You did get some zip ties at Harbor Freight for $100. See, they didn't even have those when I was there because that's what I went in looking for, Miss Connie, was the zip ties. Somebody said they were on sale for 99 cents. So I went in looking for the 99 cent zip ties and to look at the, the uh, zip tie gun while I was in there. There was no 99 cents nor a dollar 99 zip ties in mine. So mine didn't like to play. It was like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right, Miss Bill, Linda, have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, that's awesome, Miss Judy. Isn't it great when they buy you things like that? Five hundred for five ninety nine. So I usually get mine with my cable mounts. Six in zip ties for $1.99. I wish mine had them. No, mine didn't have them. And so, but I usually, when I order my cable mounts that I use for my sons, I buy the pack that comes with the zip ties and the cable mounts. So I usually get it all one bunch. Yep, I'm my when I went and looked in it, Chola, it didn't have any. But that was the first time I'd ever looked for Dollar Tree for the zip ties in there. So I will definitely be checking back when I check for my glitter balls and tubing. I'll look for zip ties too. Because I went in for zip ties and for these rubber bands. Buy the combo pack too from Amazon. What's the combo pack? How much is that? Fifty, Joni. Plus shipping. Oh yes, I have lots of Dollar Trees in my tiny circle that I like to go visit. Have any of the subscribers gotten your kits yet? Yes. I do line it up a certain way. It depends on what kind of petal fold we're going to do. Then that determines how I fold the mesh. There are different ways to do the petals, so that makes the difference in the way that you do your mesh. Combo cable mounts with zip ties. Yes. The rubber bands came from Dollar Tree. They are over by the um, hairbrushes. Oh, really, Brenda? Joyce, they, these rubber bands were over by the hairbrushes. So they're not in the crafting ones, but they were over by the hairbrushes. Have you checked the Dollar General, Judy? Some said they found the tubing and the glitter balls. And then some have said they have not seen it. Mine isn't either, Connie.
You're welcome, Chilla. Dollar Tree zip ties are flimsy. Ah, then that wouldn't be good to work with. I am in Haltom City, Texas, which is right outside of Fort Worth. It's okay, but not anything to crack with. Gotcha. Your Dollar General didn't have any. I haven't talked and checked mine just because it's not the best. I'm hoping I can find a newer one to stop and look at. All the older ones, or the ones I have around me are older. And they're not very well presented. It is very hot. We are looking at 102 today. And that's just the regular temperature. That's not the feel like temperature. Yeah, then yeah, I'll just stick with the other ones. We don't need nothing cracking and falling apart, that's for sure. got a pack of zip ties at Hobby Lobby and there were so many of them that did not even zip tie. Oh, that stings, Joni. I hate when that happens. I found that a couple of times. But yeah, that stinky. I mean, that's just a waste when they don't have any zip to the zip tie. You got a Donner General in every corner? I've got one Two. I only got two close to me that I know of, but I haven't ever actively searched it out the way I have Dollar Trees because, yeah, I have actively searched out the Dollar Trees. Good night, Miss Sharon. Have a wonderful sleep. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hundred and one heat X hundred and sixty. Yep. The three and five dollar mine is too, Kim. When they started with this dollar twenty five thing, they added in the three and five dollars. Oh, that stinks, Diane. You don't have any? That's not fun. Oh, you're so welcome, Miss Deborah. You have a small Dollar Tree 15 miles away, and the one about... Why is it that the one further away has the more stops? Yeah, there's one Dollar General close to me that's like that, Joyce, and then the other one's at least nicer. And it's like you always walk in and there's a smell. And it's like, mm. nope, thanks, no thanks. But now Dollar Trees, I'm definitely stocking the Dollar Trees. Ninety-five, and it feels like a hundred. Heck, I'd even take that. You get your zip ties from O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Oh, that's a good idea. You know what? I never thought about O'Reilly. You know, I say I think about that. 
and it's a good idea, but you know, I'm just going to get them from Amazon because uh, they bring them right to my door. And I ain't got to go nowhere to get it. I'm going to do a bonus, Linda. Linda, you don't have any Hobby Lobbies? Oh, that stinks. You have five Hobby Lobbies within 20 minutes? Dang, Jeannie, I, I would be in heaven for that. I've only got one close, and it's about 10 minutes away. So, I mean, that's not too far, but it's not down the street either like the Dollar Tree is. 45 minutes away. Wow, Miss Linda. It's merely or not Dollar Tree, <laughs> right? You got to do what you got to do to get the tubing in the glitter bowls. Can't carry very much variety. That stinks. 83. Kimberly. Quit bragging. I can only dream a little dream of it being 73. I get the ones that come with the cable mounts. That's where I get my zip ties. And then I kill two birds with one stone. So I get them both. Zip ties and the cable mounts. Your coast is hobby love is an hour away. That's stinky too. You need to find out when they get their trucks in, Julie. Say, like, excuse me, but when are your trucks here? And then that's when I would go shopping is that, or ask them when they unload their trucks. More like, not when they get them in, but when they unload them. So you can be there when they're unloading it and putting it out on the shelves. So you'll get the good pick of stuff. Uh, no, not here. It said I would take 83 at midnight. Then my house might cool down. Better sleeping. Yes, ma'am, Miss Lisa. I always need flat, flat glitter balls. I use them year round. So I am always, always looking for them. You charge Wednesdays and Sundays. That's it. You make friends with the Dollar Tree people. Those that work there and find out when their trucks come in. Mine come in on Monday. Just so you know. Who knows when the trucks come in? Uh-huh. Yes, you can. And I like to order cases online from the Dollar Tree when I find them. Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree Joni for the glitter balls. Those are the two places that I get mine. It's more of what day you stock the shelves. Uh, I have been known to open boxes in the middle of the aisles, Miss Connie. Or just taking the whole box off the cart because that's what I wanted. 
Been there, done that. You're welcome, Joni. I'll order my frames, my 18 inch frames online. And sometimes when I try to order them to be shipped to the store, it'll tell me they're back stocked and it may take over 30 days. But if I hit ship to the house, suddenly they have them in stock and I can get them in about four to seven days. Funny how that works, right? You pay for the shipping, you can get them. But you want free shipping and you gotta wait back stock 30 days. So I just wait for their shipping specials because they do have $5.99 shipping specials. And that's when I order my friends on the $5.99 shipping. See, I'm not the only one who opens boxes in the middle of the aisles. All I gotta do is tell Big Daddy I need something and he'll get it open. He'll even start looking in the boxes too. What you looking for? Tell him I want the glitter balls. So if there's a box on that aisle, he's searching in it. Awesome, Lisa. Woo -hoo. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Christina. How are you doing this afternoon? What am I doing? Oh, wait. Half and half. Half and half. All right, Miss Beth, have a folding laundry. I got some to fold. Come on over, Miss Beth. I got some too. We're getting there. We're almost done. A few more petals and then one more round, and we'll be done. Hello, Miss Judy. Never have boxes out, but close this does all over the time. It just depends on which one you go. You can always tell the differences in the managers. Hello, Susan. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for sprinkling the charms. Thank you, Miss Linda. I appreciate that. No, ma'am, Miss Kathy, we're going to put a bow on it. Where do you find the glitter balls in the Dollar Tree? You find them all over the store. You just have to kind of search the whole store over. I found them in the uh, seasonal section, right up in the front. I have found them with the baby stuff. I have found them with the party stuff, with the wedding stuff. I have found them on the floral aisle. With the tubing, they were just hanging off the front of the shelf. I mean, just hanging out. And um, I found them on the end caps. Just hanging off the ends of the shelf. Yeah, they are just scattered all over the store. So you just have to kind of search and look at every 
But I haven't found them like over in the food and that type, but definitely over more with the party and that type of stuff. How many ties did I use? There are 48, Miss Judy. Back in the party section, they have seen the, the Mardi Gras, the red, white, and blue stars up front right now. What do they look like? This is what they look like. It's crazy. Last week seemed like more graduation stuff, but I guess. See, mine hasn't put out, since I bought every one of those graduation stars, Miss Connie, mine hasn't put out any more of them. Uh, let's put it this way. But these are what they look like in the Dollar Tree. White ones are in the wedding section. That's where I found the white ones. I put them on the end of my Chanel stems. When I'm finished making a wreath, as like a last minute finishing touch. Instead of just leaving the Chanel stems hanging out willy-nilly or um, pushing them down into your wreath, I put the glitter balls on them. And that gives it a little extra bling color texture to your wreath. I like my zip tie tool. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Joanne, for on YouTube. I appreciate that. So this is what the back is looking like for anybody wanting to see the back. So that's what the back. Gotta do just yellow. Or if I need to alternate. I think I'm gonna alternate this one with just the Dean Michael petal. Instead of the duo, and we're just going to make this one alternating it as our final petal. We'll do a yellow one, and then we'll do a white one. What zip tie tool is it and where can I find one? This one is the No Easy, K-N-O-W-E-A-S-Y, and it came from Amazon. I believe it was like $14, $14.99 on Amazon. Thank you, Miss Linda. When you go online, Dollar Tree, all kinds of those rainbow ones. Yeah, that's all they have on there right now. Um, you can find, if you type in scatters, I believe, it's either glitter balls or scatters. Uh, the blue and silver and pink and silver come up. So you have to check both base fillers and um, scatters. 
and sometimes I just type in glitter balls. We're just gonna do a single petal on this last row here. I think that's what we're going to do. It's just a single. I kind of like that. That's a good thing with this flowers that you can just kind of go willy-nilly and alternate it however you want to. Thank you. You're welcome, Christina. going to keep going with the dual colors but I think I like this on this final roll of doing it a little bit different do you know what would be pretty in the center of this is that one saying you did with the daisy on it? Yeah, that would be pretty in it. But I only have that in a 10 inch center. Thank you, Joni. Another lady I watched that does Dollar Tree Lives was talking to a worker and was showing some of the. Ooh, what are they getting good? Tell me, tell me, Connie, what are they getting good? Thank you, Joni. I think it makes a little different to it, it makes it stand out a little bit better. I may have should have alternated the whole thing where I did some yellow on top and white on the bottom. <laughs> it's too late for that now. Oh, must be after four o'clock. Yep, it is. We're late. We're running late. I heard my phone go off. I have my do not disturb scheduled to stay on from 1.30 to 4 o'clock. So that doesn't get disturbed during my live. So it starts stinging, I'm sorry. We're late, we're late. It is 4.04. .04. Right, Miss Kim? I'm waiting for Connie to spill the beans and let us know what they're having. Anything cute and different? They are very time consuming, Miss Kathy. But they're fun and they're different. And they're pretty. There's one I want to attempt with the lolly petal. I really want to attempt that one. It may be something that I have to do on a recorded video and put it on my YouTube. Because it looks like it's going to be one of those uh, five hour, six hour long projects. So it would definitely need to be something that I could speed up. Y'all would be bored, bored, bored if I did that on the live. Or maybe something that I did, I pre-prepped. I know y'all like to watch the prepping process. 
But maybe if I had that pre-prepped and put it together on the live, that might be something we could do. But I really want to attempt that one. It is very, very cute. Cute, cute, cute. YouTube, Miss Linda. It's 5.04 there. I'm sorry. I'm keeping you late. I'm late, I'm late. I think Daddy will be home here in a minute. Oh, he like, uh, you're still on the line? Put it on my YouTube? That's what I might do. Record the video. And then that way we could fast forward and skip through all the... Each row kind of thing. Three more, three more. And then we'll make a bowl and we're done. We're almost done, we're almost done. Thank you, Miss Linda. Yes, he does like to chat. Absolutely, Miss Kathy. And that's it, if I had all but like a couple prepared so that way you could, you know, see how to do a few. And then it's just putting the wreath together then that would be a big difference. Maybe I'll do something like that on a weekend. Not yet. We have to have um, so many subscribers before you're allowed to do a live on YouTube. So that's why we're trying to get up to a thousand subscribers on YouTube is so we can start going live on there and have another platform. And yes, just because of the wonderful things that are happening with Miss Gigi, Tina and I were like, mm, we need to start finding another place to be able to do the lives. And that way it's kind of a backup. So that's why we we're begging for the YouTube subscribers. So we can get that up and running. So we can also do lives there. Not really begging, but you get it. They are six inch, Joanne. Uh, he is a mess. 100% a mess. But I love him as a mess, that's for sure. Thank you, Miss Kathy, for subscribing. I can one in green and white. Oh, that would be pretty in Clara. Green and white would be really pretty. I can't wait to start doing fall flowers. Oh, those are gonna be so, so pretty. It is sad, Miss Linda. It is very sad that people are that vindictive and hurtful that they get so bent out of shape by somebody else's success that they want to ruin it. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Thank you, Linda. It's strange some people can sing and have noise, but some can't. Um, I think it's because um, some get reported and some do not. Miss Nancy is what I think it is. Now, do I know 100% sure? No. I do not know 100% for sure. That is my guess is that it's being reported, especially since she got reported for the other thing to begin with. Miss Gigi. Joanne, we're talking about Gigi over at Designs by Giselle. She is a one awesome lady. She does beautiful floral wreaths. So if you're ever looking for a floral, she does awesome florals. But YouTube, or not YouTube, but Facebook has been flagging her for music and copyrighted stuff in her video when she doesn't have any music playing. 
and then somebody else was uh, tagged for having roosters crowing in their backyard and you could hear the roosters crowing and so they muted their video for so many seconds that you couldn't hear because of that. And I said, it's all speculation on my part that it's being reported. But the things that some get away with and the others are getting, re you know, picked on about, it's just hard to believe that it's not that reason. Your son-in-law acts like Big Daddy. You know, that just makes life fun, though. That just makes life lots and lots of fun when they can act like that and have that sense of humor. Although he's not feeling too good today. He has to go to the doctor. Back to work today. He's got a sore throat. So he wouldn't be too lively if he got home before we were done. Uh, let's see. Same thing happened to one of your lives and you don't play. Really, Renee? You too? I wonder if they just crack. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Isn't that crazy? And it seems like it's just all of a sudden happening, too. What rooster's crowing? Of all things, rooster's crowing. How is a rooster's crow trademarked or copyrighted? Good, I'm glad you did. It's not that hard, Miss Janet. It's just my first time using it. So it's awkward to me right now. But it, it's once I get the hang of it, it'll be good. Well, that's what we look like. You had played your dad's LP records on an old time player and face were muted. Hmm. That's interesting. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna zoom back out so we can watch the bow. And you can see the whole thing better. So let's zoom back out. I would say Brewster's Corner would be Crafty Max. Maybe. You know, lots of people have roosters crowing. I mean, how could that be a copyright? I don't get it. You can't write, you can't tell a rooster a hush. I'm gonna have to get some gum or let's cut some Velcro. And now my scissors. We're just gonna do a little eight inch. And this is a yellow and white giggle plaid from Sam's. So we're just gonna do a little eight inch tail. Because we don't need a big one. And we're gonna do a six inch loop. And we're gonna do three on each side. So this is different from my normal terry bow. Crawling, not crawling, right? Well, if they ain't fussing about doggies, I'm in trouble. Thank you, Miss Nancy. Got 
That's why mine get put up while I go live anymore. I tried to leave them out. But each time I, um, you know, the door would ring, a loud truck would go by. They would start barking. So I was like, mm, we'll just put them up from now on. And then that way we don't have any trouble. Because you always get somebody who's going to get aggravated because you have dogs barking. That happened too. So we did six inches on the first. We did three loops on each side. And now we're going to do in a five inches with two loops on each side. And then we're going to do four inches with three loops on each side. I have a um, Australian Shepherd Border Collie mix. I have a Catahoula Leopard. And I have a Black Mouth Cur. And I have a Half Rottweiler, or a Rottweiler. <laughs> Big dogs. Big, big dogs. But I love my big babies. They're rotten, that's for sure. Right now, I've got one in his kennel, and the other three are in my bedroom. Usually, they're just out hanging out. But right now, they've since they've put up. That's where they are. They got their own beds in there. Thank you, LaDonna. What kind of bow? It's a loopy bow. I'll call it a loopy bow. I'm sure there's probably a name for it, but I just call it a loopy bow because it has so many loops on it. Thank you, Jackie. It's hot, LaDonna. It is very, very hot. It is, right now, it is about 101 outside with 105, 106 heat index. Hot, 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 hot. The kind where it's not uh, going to cool your house off. And your AC runs 24-7. That's what kind of hot it is. It's a loopy bow. See? It's got a whole bunch of loops on it. Did it take you long to get used to? Nope, it didn't. I picked up on my bow maker pretty quickly. I really, really liked the bow maker. But I used to do bows by hand also, so that could make it easier to work with for me. DG is Designs by Giselle, yes. We're just going to put this right in the middle. 
And we're gonna tie that on there tightly. 75, Joanne. But the house never gets below 77, 76 during the daytime. Oh no, Dorothy. Replay will be on just as soon as we get done. So I just cut that off and then I just push it right back into the hole. And you just fix your tails. And we have our pretty bow. Thank you, Miss Tamika. Thank you, Irene. Thanks, Nancy. There we go. We got a cute little bow on there. Thank you, Miss Pam. I'll put a little hanger on it right there. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Thank you, Janet. Oh, can you not see it? Get some white blackout curtains and put all windows. Light comes through, but doesn't I hit up? I do need to get some blackout curtains. I agree, Miss Nancy. Thank you, Kendra. Thanks, Judy. Thank you, Miss Linda. Well, now you know what to do with them, Miss LaDonna. You can pick a bunch of colors. I mean, just do two different colors. A red and white, red and green, black and orange. Uh, orange, yellow, white for candy corn. Thank you, Muro. I really appreciate you being here. I used two rows, LaDonna. But they were the six foot rolls from uh, Hobby Lobby, so I used two of each. Yay, go Miss Nancy. Go, go, go. You couldn't do it. Thank you, Miss Judy. Thank you so much. All right, ladies, we are going to hop off of here. I hope everybody has a wonderfully blessed evening. We will see you tomorrow at 1.30 Central Standard Time. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to YouTube, hop over there and go subscribe for me. I would greatly appreciate it. That's the same stuff that I think that I use. Yes, it feels plastic coated, Judy. Yep. Thank you, Miss Brenda. Get mine at one skin. 16 Three bucks. Heck yeah, I would have grabbed them all too. Yay, Dorothy. That's awesome. All right, ladies, we will see y'all tomorrow at 1.30 Central Standard Time. Thank you so much for hanging out. Bye-bye.